I'm disability lawyer David Brannon. In this video, I'm going to take you through who is eligible for long-term disability benefits. Now, if you like the video, hit the like button, of course, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, to stay in touch with us so that you'll get these videos when they come out once or twice a week. So who's eligible for long-term disability? Well, not everyone in Canada is eligible, unfortunately. To be eligible, you must meet two criteria. Number one, you must be a person who's covered under a long-term disability plan or insurance policy. Number two, you have to have a disability that meets certain criteria under your plan as being quote unquote totally disabled or partially disabled depending on your plan. The way long-term disability plans work is that you have to be enrolled in them. Or if you have an insurance policy, you must have a valid insurance policy that you're paying into. Most people who are going to have long-term disability have it through their workplace. So your employer would have a group benefits package that would have medical, dental, uh, a bunch of things, and long-term disability benefits. So that's the first place to look if you're wondering if you're eligible for long-term disability, see if it's included in your group plan. Now the other part would be is if you are an independent business person or self-employed, you can have long-term disability through a private policy that you buy directly, just covering yourself, you get that from an insurance broker. So you're gonna know if you have that. So apart from the eligibility part, you have the disability part. So the disability part is gonna vary slightly from plan to plan, but there are some general things that I can go over with you. So generally speaking, for long-term disability, to be eligible, it has to be quote unquote long-term. There are other types of disability for shorter term illness, sometimes called short-term disability, or there's even the EI sickness program that covers short term disabilities where people are just going to be, you know, maybe disabled, unable to work for a few weeks or a few months. To qualify for long-term disability, you have to get over what's called a waiting period. The waiting period, also sometimes called the elimination period, is a period of time that you have to show that you've been completely and continuously disabled for this period of time. And once you reach that threshold, you now are eligible to apply under your plan. The amount of the waiting period is different from plan to plan. Generally, it's around 17 weeks. That's usually what you're gonna be looking at around 17 weeks. It can be shorter if it's an individual policy. So you'd have to show that you've been continuously disabled for those full 17 weeks and continue to be so into the future. So the disability component is the most tricky part. You are going to have to get medical evidence to show what your disability is and you know, the insurance company will review it and they decide whether they believe like you meet this criteria or not. Now, keep in mind that there are different types of disability and the plans define it differently. So you have to go and read the fine print in your plan. Most plans deal with what's called a total disability from own occupation or any occupation. And what that means is for, for a certain period of time, most insurance policies that are disability plans will cover you if you are unable to do your own type of work. So for me, I'm a lawyer. As long as I can't do lawyer work, I would be covered for a certain period of time. Most plans have a period of like two years where if you're not able to do your own type of work as a lawyer, then you will be covered. These plans then will often shift after two years to cover, you'll only be covered if you're know, eligible for disability if you can't do any other type of work. Now that's a very nuanced definition. I'm not going to go into it here, but the general idea is that it's not only that you're disabled from being a lawyer, you're, you now can't go do other types of work that would be like maybe less stressful or difficult as being a lawyer. So that's important to know that there's these, these two-step definitions of eligibility that you can find. And the final thing to know is that some plans have step down. So there's this idea of total disability that you can't work at all. Some plans have these ideas of a partial disability or a residual disability. That's more common when you have individual plans, but it's important to know that there can be these different levels. That with some plans, if you have a partial disability, you can work part-time. Sometimes the insurance company will pay a top up on top of that. That's not in all plans. And so it's important for you to understand whether your plan has the one definition or multiple. And it's one of the areas where we find a lot of confusion. So there you go. Now you have a better sense of who is eligible for long-term disability benefits. You know that not everyone's eligible, that you have to apply, that there's the disability criteria, that there's the actual enrollment and eligibility criteria, and that once you get into it, there's def different definitions of disability that you have to be aware of. Keep watching our videos. If you've enjoyed this, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe so you'll get our videos once or twice a week. Also down below, we have guides and other information that you may want to download, and I look forward to seeing you next time.